Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Resident Evil 2 Remake. This is your title screen. And, uh, this is the first thing you're gonna see. When you, well, not the first thing. First thing's like brightness settings and already net and all that shit. But, um, this first screen you're gonna see. So, yeah. Costumes, right off the bat. I have the deluxe version of the game. So, switch all characters back to the normal costumes. Oh, hell no. Leon. He's normal right now. I guess that's where you start off in. We have his noir and his and Arcalay Sheriff. Right? Noir, military, and Eliza Walker. Huh. Cool. Uh right now we're gonna have our normal outfits later on. I think I'll change them. Oh, alternate outfits. What do you mean? Oh, there are already two actual like original outfits. That's pretty dope. Uh, that's awesome. Anyways. <coughs> mm. Well, before I started coughing, I was going to say that I am a little sick right now, as it is. So, yeah, for those of you who have been waiting for more Persona 4, don't worry, it's on its way. I'm just sick right now, and it's terrible. I don't like recording when I'm sick, because then I have to stop recording, like, in the middle of recording, because I have to cough and shit. Right? It won't go away. It sucks. Other than that, uh, if there's any audio problems, blame me being sick, and I will try to fix them in post. If I can't fix them in post, I apologize, and I am sorry. But I'm not going to re-record any of those because this is my first time through the remake. So, I think I want to start with... Oh, yeah, one more thing. Before we get started, as always, I got to give big ups and big thank yous to people who helped me out. Uh, I want to give a big thank you to mothman uh i think his twiddle his twiddle wow his twiddle his twitter handle right now is what level 100 mothman or something like that i'll put it in the description and everything below i don't remember how everything's exactly spelled by heart but yeah i were uh i have asked mothman's help before on another project that sadly never came to fruition mainly because the game that the subject was based on, uh, the game was, uh, it didn't perform well, and sadly, that never saw the light of day, maybe I can find a way to incorporate it into something else, but who knows, but the thumbnail, the intro you're looking at, that's Mothman, he did it, it's awesome, I love it, it's great, other than that, all his, uh, contact information is below in the description, and they'll be in the description for every part, just like I did with Volta Base and Persona, it was great, love it uh so big thank yous to him and hopefully we can work together more in the future so what i want to do is i personally think a lot of people will probably start playing as claire redfield because they assume people will play as leon kennedy so since i assume that i'm gonna do the reverse and play as Lenny leon kennedy first um select game mode um standard because i believe hardcore takes away uh, stronger enemies, no auto save, saving requires ribbon inks. For the sake of a playthrough, we're going to do standard. Because I don't want to be stuck on a part forever. What I really hope that doesn't happen. Oh, uh, real quick, let me just see the audio on the fucking, on the game. I might have to bring that up. Sleep. Oh, shit. 
maybe she's all right, you know, maybe, maybe you didn't hit her that hard. That's a lie, you fucking dragged her ass like fucking 20 yards, dude. Why did her model kind of look like Mia from Resident Evil 7? Did you see that? It kind of looked like Mia. I don't know why. So I think what I have to do is I have to increase some of the volume on the... On the uh, game. So I'll do that right after this cutscene. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I uh, increased it. The, increased it. Wow, increased the volume of the game. So hopefully you guys can hear it better. If not, I'll try and fix it in post. But while we're here in the settings, I just want to see what we have here. Uh, I don't want to mess with any of that. Auto reload on uh, when aiming. Reticle deceleration. Adjust how much reticle slows down when you are over a target. I don't want it to slow down at all. Aim assist off. Vibration function. Okay. Camera. Let me see. Field of view. Kind of put that up a little bit. Camera speed. Normal. I want it like around there. When aiming. I want it like probably here. Camera wobble. Probably on just for funsies. Um, display, brightness, uh, film noise. Do I want that? I'm going to turn it off. Reticle settings, reticle color, white, red, blue, green, white. Well, we're going to go with green, because hell yeah. Dot sight, red, blue, green, white, green. Tutorials, on, I guess. HUD, on. Uh, audio, here we go. Voice volume, I want it to be the most, I don't want the, I don't want the music overplaying, overplaying, wow, I don't want it playing over the voices, so I'm going to do that. Dynamic range, mmm, sure. Controller speaker off, uh, music, we're going to go with the remake version, I think later on we'll change it to the original soundtrack, because you get that with the deluxe edition, and I think we are good with everything else, we should be fine, subtitles are on. And we're good. All right. Uh, I clicked return. Shouldn't I click confirm? Did I fuck it up? Did I really just fuck it up? Let me just make sure. No, it's uh, it's good. It's good. We're good. We're good. I didn't fuck it up. All right. So right off the ooh, that's a fast ass camera. Holy shit! Right off the bat, Leon smart ass is like, man, this is weird. What I like about this is that. And that they let you actually play the part of Leon coming into town this time around. Because, you know, fucking original Resident Evil 2. I don't know too much about it, but I know I know my fair share. I'm not like crazy, crazy Resident Evil fan, but I've played most of the games. Uh, I even played like Outbreak on the PSP. It was fucking weird. It was weird, but cool. I liked it a lot. Um, but yeah... Like, in the original, it's like, Leon's, like, two weeks or, like, one week later shows up to Raccoon City because he was getting drunk at home because his girlfriend dumped him or something like that. Something's not right. 
But this time around, it, it, the story is just, they're kind of retconning it a little bit because that's a stupid ass reason. And it's like, man, uh, you would have think that someone like Leon, how did you get past all the barricades and shit? But this story around is that they told Leon to wait a week because, you know, things were kind of going crazy in Raccoon, but they didn't think it would go this crazy. So, hopefully, the, I'm looking at the fucking, I'm looking at my setup right now, and I think we might have a little bit of a problem, because I can see, but I'm not sure if you guys can see. So, where, display, brightness, I'm just going to kick that up, I'm just going to kick that up, and kick that up, let me see on my display, if you guys can, uh, if it's better for you guys, yeah, it's a little bit better now, yeah, alright, you can see a little bit better, sorry, I just want to make sure you guys are able to see what's going on, I don't want it to be too pushed back, because I know, I know, like, it's my display and stuff, and then YouTube has its uh, condensing it does, so it really fucks it up. So at the end of the day, no matter how this is going to go, you guys probably are going to get a way worse looking version of this game than I do. So that, that kind of sucks. But, you know, if you guys are looking forward to buy this game, I think this is one of those games where, like, you really shouldn't even think, the f think about reviews or anything like that. Because just... Let alone if you've seen gameplay, if you played the demo, it feels great. And if you played Resident Evil 7 and you liked it, you're probably going to like this a lot. That's fucking nasty. This is the part that they showed at the E3 presentation. You know what? I'm just going to, I'm just going to not. We're just going to leave. Save my ammo. It's all right, Leon. It's all right. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, come on. I have to kill it. All right. I fucked that up already. You stay back, motherfucker. You know what? Actually, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Cool. Now that you're on the ground, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get you. Stay down. Stay down, dude. You have no face. Come on. Oh. Did I just kick it over? I have no bullets. You took my bullets, man. Let me see. Can I get some off that officer in there? I'm going to assume the officer's dead. But uh, this is the area that they showed at the E3 reveal. Hello. How are you? Key. Alright. Escape from the store. Pizza. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. That looks delicious. What is back here? Cat food? What is this? Dog food? It's fucking tomato sauce and shit. Alright, let's stop fucking around. People want to see how the game looks. And I want to play the game because I have work later today. Ooh. Use key item. Is this for the, uh... When you need to use an item, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Man, I feel a cough coming on. I'm going to try my best not to cough on the microphone because I'm fucking, I'm like really sick. I'm a little congested too. Congested. Oh, do I got to lift this up? No, nope. I got to go the other way. Move, zombie boy. Let's go. I got no bullets. Don't touch me. Should grab some like ice cream sandwiches on my way out. It's Claire. Get down. Miles Morales tried to chomp you. It was crazy. Well, Miles Morales in like 20 years. You know what I like about Leon and Claire's playthroughs in the original? If you head to the gun shop, the dude goes like, Oh man, I almost tucked your head off there, buddy. But if you go as Claire, he's all like, Oh, hey, what's going on, babe? That zombie they just showed off, it looks like the zombie from the Resident Evil 2 cover on like the BS PS1. Do they still have, like, a zombified version of, like, Leon attack them? Is that what's going to happen? Or is it just going to be, like, a random-ass zombie? Spoiler warnings, Leon's going to crash the car. But in the original, I just love how after you crash it, he's, uh, Claire's like, Leon! And he's like, Claire! 
Yeah, the voice acting in the old ones wasn't that great, but it's really fun. No, I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop. His name is Chris. Chris Redfield. Home of Umbrella. That's not foreboding at all. I'm going to be quiet for the intro because I want you guys to hear it. Resident Evil. Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. God, this is so unreal. The police station's not much farther. You'll know something. Yeah, but... What if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Looks like we're walking from here. Stay here, it's not safe. Go on ahead. I'll meet you at the station. I'll be there. Sorry about that awkward cut, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, I am sick, and to save you guys from hearing me die and cough on the mic microphone, um, uh, there's going to be some cuts in this video probably, but I can't. I want to play this game really badly, so I'm sorry if it ruins the video for you guys or anything like that. But, yeah, we don't have any bullets, so we're just going to go. Uh, I'm happy that the city looks pretty good because they probably may not have to do more. Well, they, of course, they're going to have to do more work, but it'll probably be easier for them to do a remake of Nemesis if they want to. Where am I going? Over here. Maybe. No, it's a light source. Light sources usually tell you where to go. Can I go this way? Yes. 
Yes, I can. Of course I can go this way. It's the fucking alleyway. From the, uh, from the original. And then you go in the corner over here. And then we should enter the gun shop, right? I don't know. This alleyway looks awesome. Isn't this the same alleyway that, uh, that Jill kind of takes? I guess we're not going to head to the gun shop then at all. Huh. Oh, well. Uh, over here? I'm just going to... Excuse me, guys. I'm just making my way downtown. You know. Making my way downtown. Walking fast. Face is fast and I'm homebound. Doodly doodly do. Am I crazy? Or is that, like, is this model not, like, this one right here not based off of the, like, the zombie on the Resident Evil cover for Resident Evil 2? I feel like it is. So, boarded up woods over here. I never showed this off in the demo. Oh my god, I'm about to... Welcome to the city of... Of the... I don't know, of the dead? I don't know. Uh, give me a moment, guys. I'm about to cough again. Holy shit. And we're back, just like that. Isn't that amazing? The power of editing? That's great. Man, get used to that for the first couple of parts. Holy shit. Man, it, uh, talking does not help my, my voice whatsoever. Or my throat. Like, it just hurts. It hurts real bad. But I'm doing this because I love you guys and I love video games. And hopefully you guys love me too. Nothing but love here. We got a first date spray right off the bat. We need some barrettes like these. Put that in there. Swap. What you mean swap? Just put that in my fucking gun. All right. So, we don't need ink ribbons on standard mode. I don't think so. Uh, is there... You know, before we start doing anything... Because now we don't have a timer. We can just play Resident Evil 2. This is great. Fucking, I hope... I hope... Like, I know a lot of people are going to hate me for saying this, but I honestly hope that there are no web spinners in this game whatsoever. For people who don't know what web spinners are, those are the names of the goddamn giant-ass fucking tarantulas in Resident Evil. I have, like, I do not like bugs, but most of all, I hate spiders and shit and arachnids and arachnophobia is real, and it sucks. Let me tell you that. And, man, I just don't want to deal with it, to be honest. I just really don't. Like, if it happens, I'll play through the game still. I won't like it. I might I might give this game an 8.8. .8. Dock it down a whole two points. <laughs> uh, that's a joke. <laughs> that's a joke. Don't get mad at me, people. Get mad at IGN. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> Oh, uh, man, I don't know whether to take that seriously or not to. It, just, it was fucking, it was crazy. I don't know. Well, anyways, I think that's all we can pick up for right now. Well, at least in terms of bullets, I'm pretty sure there's more in this room that I'm missing. Because, like, Resident Evil 7, you're like, oh, man, look at all this shit. Uh, Key, I don't think I will ever need this again, so goodbye. Right? Oh, Samurai Age. Uh, edge wow samurai age samurai edge the albert model we're not going to use this because this might break the game so we're not going to do that rpd emergency there has to be someone here David, Marvin, you there? Sorry, I, I like, I don't hear the game as well as you guys probably do because I have headphones on to make sure that I don't murder the audio on my end. So I'm not getting all the crazy good sounds that I probably should be, but don't worry. Doesn't matter, the game is good. It's fun. The demo is great, and now without a timer, I, I'm so happy. Use the map. It's a map. Great. Oh, it marks things. Oh, thank you. I love you. Health recovery items. All right. Orientation letter. Let's read that. 
Officer Leon S. Kennedy, on behalf of the RPD, congratulations on completing your training. Your especially high marks are to be commended, and we could not be prouder to have you as a member of our force. Please report to orientation at Raccoon City Police Station on Friday, September 25th. September? You sure now February? You know? That the date the game comes out? <laughs> at 8 a.m., we look forward to serving with you. Raccoon City Police Chief Brian Brian Irons. What a crooked motherfucker. All right. Man, my voice hurts. You know when you have that, like, itch in your throat, and it's just like, come on, man, you want to cough, just fucking just cough your brains out. That's what I feel right now. So let's go and uh, help that guy in the obvious keep out area. Because my bravery knows no bounds. Yeah, the fact that Leon even saw like zombies in the store and didn't just turn the fuck around proves that he's a better person than me. Because I would have been like, where's this coming from? Raccoon? Oh, fuck no. And I would have just turned around and left. It would have been done. It would have been over. You would never see me again. Not in that area. All right, we need a fuse for that. It is still remarkably dark. Even though I can see, it is still pretty fucking dark. Like, oh, man. So, let's see what we got. We got some good cold drinks and more cold drinks. What we got? We got com Kampaya. What, what the fuck does that say? I don't know. I'm just fucking around. I'm scared, guys. I'm just messing around so I don't have to face off the Zambies and the potential spiders that might come and kill me. Look at those. Look at them shoes. I take your shoes. All right. Hello. Are you alive? If you are, don't move when I take these bullets, okay? Okay. Thank you. You know, stay down there. There might be more shit around here. And I do not need you to get up at all. What's this? It's a light switch. You gotta move it. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Man, you love the throwbacks? I love the throwbacks. They're great. Hold this button. Look at how much strength you have. Rolled a natty 20 on that shit. Hello there, Mr. Fire Hydrant. Alright. Is that a... I love you. Alright. Uh, This leads to a dead end. Well, not really. There's this door here. What's in here? Ha! Huh. Alright, that's where the flooding is coming from. Oogie boogie wee. Alright. Got another first aid. Gonna take that. Hello? I just came for some toilet paper. What if I opened this door and it was like, and it was fucking Mr. X, the goddamn tyrant? If he was just standing right there, he's like, hey, Leon. I'm like, oh, shit. How do you know my name? Jesus. Jesus? That's my boy, Jesus. Don't worry, man. I got you. Open up the door. I'm coming. I'm coming. I got you. Get me out of here. Help me, please. Don't worry, man. I got you. I got you. I'm just going to pull, okay? All right. Get ready. Oh. Are you okay? Alright. I guess I'll just take your notebook. Officer's notebook. Let's see. He's a pretty good artist. Better than me. Alright. Now I have to cough. Well, excuse me. And we're back. Isn't that movie magic? All right, I played the demo. So get on the ground, Busta Brown. You know what? You're not going to reach me from there, right? Cool. Let's go. Reload my gun while I'm at it. We got to get out of here. We got, oh, wrong way. This way. Sit down, thick lady. Oh, I missed. Bam, it's okay. 
Bam, bam. Don't worry, he won't grab me. Oh, he grabbed me! Get the fuck off! Don't worry, man, it's just a flesh room. If anything happened, you just got some grape jelly all over my jacket. I'll just take it to the laundromat. Leon is totally a guy who wouldn't own a goddamn washing machine, right? Get off of me, Resident Evil 2 cover zombie. Hello, my name is Side Character, who was given a bigger role in the remake. Thanks. Marvin Brown. Leon Kennedy. Okay, so Leon and Claire look great, right? But what really gets me is that Marvin, a goddamn side character from the original, who has a way bigger role here, his facial animations are really fucking good. To the point where you can see the soul and determination in his eyeballs. started this not a clue but honestly all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful yeah well i was supposed to start last week and i got a call to stay away i wish i'd come here sooner you're here now leon that's all that matters okay lieutenant i'm ready hopefully you'll be able to find a way out of this station that officer you met earlier elliot he thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Mm. This is good news. We can get you to hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you. Look at his fucking eyes. Look into his eyes, man. Now, you'll need this. This man, Marvin, he means fucking business. See one of those things, uniform or not. You do not hesitate. You take it out, or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. <laughs> Man's giving me a fucking speech while his guts are spilling out. What a badass. Combat knife. That's awesome. Guess what? It has fucking uh, durability now. It's a Legend of Zelda weapon. Congratulations. God damn it.